All right, Ian. You asked for it. You got it. There's more blades over there. Try to do this as steady as possible. Sorry, guys, about the This is the Scorpion by PKS Pathfinder Knife Shop Need some TLC Small Ladies Knife It's like a red Marcarta Full tank Large glove Sweet blade. We got the Buffalo Skinner, also by PKS. Pathfinder Knife Shop. This is what I used for flushing. All skin in season, full time. Awesome blade, light, really good bushcrafting knife, large glove, really nice blade. PLSK1, Battle Horse Knives. Love this damn knife. Large hand. Real stark, 316 inch thick. 
which all the PKS ones that I have are, except for the Buffalo Skinner. It's also uh, done by the Pathfinder. It was like a thing they did together. Look a badass knife, man. Very good edge retention. PKS Phantom 2. Blued. This is my first. Pathfinder knife. Bought by my old lady. I use and abuse this blade very badly. So I've chipped the handle. This is a no take no shit knife right here. PKS Scorpion HD walnut handles. 316 inch thick. Very hard use blade. Also beat the dog shit out of this knife. One of my go-tos. Very light. Nice curves in the handles. It's got curves, baby. It's real nice. Love this knife. As of right now, my favorite skinning knife, J. Null Skinner. Takes a good edge, holds a good edge. Made by Wallace Knife Works. Hopefully it's coming in camera good for you guys. My nose picker broke. So far, my favorite Skinner. Oh yeah. Wallace Reaper. Made by Wallace Knife Works. A badass mama jamma. This is a no take no shit blade too. Made my, by my brother in Florida. This is a big skinner. I can't remember the name of this one. I won this knife, man. Look how awesome that is. Wallace Knife Works. Skin that deer that I found. Beautiful knife. Love it. Rustic. Love it. Just love it. Love this shit, man. Can't believe I won. I think it's like the first thing I won or something. Or maybe not my first thing. I can't remember. But yeah, that shit is nice. <laughs> Got my ST5. The Rocket Knives. Beast. Beast. My car to handles. Yellow liners. Three sixteen inch thick Scandivex grind workhorse solid crazy ass holds edge nice just crazy oh 
man. Got the Buck Reaper. It's got jumping up here, jumping back here, toy right here, choke up on it. Pretty sick ass knife. Full tank. Swedge. Focus. You guys get it. Sick boy. Pick got the buck one nineteen. Pretty classic knife. This is the 75th edition, whatever. Real nice knife. Tough knife. Sorry about the noise, guys. Got the Nighthawk. This thing is bad to the bone. Really, really, really tough blade. It's buck and tops mix. This thing holds its edge like a mofo. It's just a really stacked piece of steel. Apparently full tang. Can't see it, so it's not too full time. Got your wrench. Sick, sick blade. Sheath sucks. Sheath is horrible. Love this knife. This is my dumbass fault broken Mora cans bowl. Great knife, but I pushed her a little too hard. I'm gonna get a new one eventually. But love this knife. More cans, bro. It's a great knife. <laughs> Broke it. A great blade. What? To get me and me. got the Mora Eldris. Little thick stout handle. Feels amazing in the hand. The great carver. It's just a really good blade. Awesome blade. Oh man. Look at it. It's great. This is a gift from Woodland Tactical. The more Gobber, badass blade. You guys seen the review? It's carbon version. Oh yeah, it's a badass blade. The more 511. When I practice sharpening on, jack this blade all up. It's all messed up. <laughs> uh, it's wicked bad. It's just all jacked up, man. More 511. Good blade. Real nice knife. Especially for the money. I forgot this guy's name, but it's the Buck 379. Made in China. Nice little knife. Got the Buck Trapper, I believe it's called. It's Buck 382. Made in China. Sweet blade. Got the Ontario Knife Company. Oh man. Look at that boy. It's a nice knife. A lot of people have complaints about it. It'll snap. 
this will come on loose, but I don't know. I don't use it that much, but when I did use it, it seems to be all right. It seems to be fine. Stout blade. You know, it's a fight knife, not a bushcraft knife. But it's a bad man with Gemma. We got this small Camillus blade. Didn't come with a name. A little neck knife. Landry. Pretty nice. Sharp blade. Came like in a set. Got the Browning Ignite. Nice budget. Little bushcraft survival knife. Comes with a ferro rod, place to scrap your ferro rod, which I don't even like, but it's a strong little knife right here, man. Handles a little thin and whatnot, but it'll get the job done, man, no problem. Got the Buck Mesa. It's all okay, Blade. As long as you don't beat the dog shit out of it like I do. Arcada handles. Blade's a little wavy for me, beating the dog crap out of it, and it being a hollow grind. But other than that, it's a nice blade. Comfortable in the hand. Got a nice plastic sheath. It's a real nice knife. It's my Rapala. Like a $16 blade. Good little knife. Got a rat tang. Nothing to grab about, but it's a good blade. Record video. Record video. Record video. Oh man, it's already. What the? <laughs> uh, oh, what the hell am I doing? Ba 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 ba. Here it is, crappy ass knife. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, I never shut it off. <laughs> Here's the mossy oak, fake Damascus stuff on it. It's not a bad blade. Kinda, yeah, it's okay. Got a little piece of junk, Camillus, but pretty good little knife. It's alright. Holds an edge, man. Shit's still sharp. Got your mossy oak hunting knife, gut hook. Never used it. Looks like crap, but I guess if you gotta get one. But uh, yeah. Came with a set. Got the Sag Ace. It's a good food processor, in my opinion. It's got a cool sheath, so you can have a little seat belt cutter on it or whatever, a rope cutter. Handle feels good. Not bad. Sog Ace. Got a Sog Karambit. This thing is a piece of junk, only for flesh. Got the Condor Haran. Damn good knife. Strong ass knife. Some brass inlay. This is a good one. Condor Pterosaur. I had a review on this blade also. I think I got a review on all these knives. It's a good blade. Especially for the money.
my witch's tooth by Martini. Beautiful blade. It's got some horn on it, sheep horn. Keep the witches away. I you eat your meal. It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful knife. This is my go-to sidekick. My Martini uh, Arctic Carver, as you can tell, it's got a lot of gunk on it and needs some love. This is my go-to though, man. I love it. Good blade. Kids love it too. My martini fillet knife. Awesome fillet knife. And cheek. Works really good. CRKT Baki. I hate to admit it, but I love this knife. Straight shank. My unknown buck carried this for a long time. Used an abused piece of steel here. Not a good handle. Some folders. This is the Civivi Backlash. Sweet folder. Ontario Rat 1. OD Green. Awesome blade. Sweet knife. The buck. Uh, shite. I don't remember the name of it, but it's okay. It's kind of crappy, to be honest. <laughs> Got a mossy, mossy oak Bowie knife. Little mini one. I can't find the big one from somewhere. It's a cool ass little knife. Ozark. Cheap throwing knife, straight poo. UST throw knife, basically poo. This knife is from a guy that I don't know where, I don't know what happened to him. Uh, I think it's WV Outdoors sent me this knife. Um, and uh, yeah, nice knife, but I accidentally hit something with it. So it got the edge and then it fixed it, but it's a Kephart style. That's what I asked him to design. Turned out pretty good. But I need a sheath for it and it's a good knife, huh? Yeah. Holds a nice edge. Did a good job. Big dog. It's like a damn fro. Shrade. S A C H la 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 la. This thing is a beast. Big ass slab of 10.95. My car to handles. I use this thing as a fro, man. It's it's no joke. I don't think Shred makes them like this anymore. They're just starting to roll, but it's all right. The shark can't take care. It's a nice tool. Choke up on it if you want. 
CRKT Ruger. like to admit it, but it's a badass knife. Another awesome Camillus knife for 10 bucks. This thing is wicked comfortable, wicked awesome. Yeah. Good price, good deal. Got the straight sharp finger. I heard this is a really good skinning knife. Old timer. Like plastic handles. I haven't used it for skinning, but I hear that it wicked, wicked, wicked good skinning knife. It's nice. I like it. I like the sharp finger blade, man. <laughs> Got the Kershaw Leak. Pretty sweet blade. It's assisted. Flies out. Stone wash. Look at that tip. A stabber. Cold steel fin wolf. Wicked strong cheap blade. Lock back. Strong blade, man. Good knife. Cursaw Emerson design. Got the wave feature, comes out of your pocket. As far as I'm concerned, the fastest out of pocket pack uh, folder out there, period. Love this blade. Bad knife. Another Kershaw design with the wave feature. Frame lock. It's a good blade. Out of pocket, man, I'm telling you. Fast. Budget Spider Co. It's the tenacious. Sweet blade. Holds a nice edge. My ADCs, hard to put it down. Got a mossy oak nail neck. Not a bad little knife. The fake Damascus came with the that other fake Damascus one. Pretty sweet blade. Smith and Wesson dagger. Awesome knife. Boot knife. Another Emerson design, Kershaw. Awesome blade. Wave feature. Frame lock. Real cheap, 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 crappy one from uh, Smith & Wesson. Really bad. Ozark Trail multi-tool type thingy. Got a window smasher on it, seat belt cutter, flashlight. Barrel rod, 
sucks. It's good for the tackle box. We got the rake. This is a awesome edge retention knife right here. It's just really, really did a really good job on the blade steel. This is the P801SF. Nice knife. This is a terrible, horrible, ugly martini. This knife is it's just terrible. It's just terribly made. <laughs> CRKT snarky parky piece of crap knife. It's wicked bad. Junk. Garbage. Got the Kershaw shuffle. Nice knife. Bottle opener. Frame lock. It's a nice little knife. CRKT spew. Neck knife. Thing is nasty. You got the minimalist CRKT. Awesome little blade. Some neck knife. And a Remington. Uh, not sure the name of it, but it's kind of like a Trapper. Came in a little series of box knives. Cheap but reliable piece of junk Winchester. Frame light, all one piece there. Reliable though. Ozark piece of poo, but for, for three bucks, what you want? I have no idea what this is. Some cheap China knife, Some wicked bad. That's the pocket clip. Button push. It's crap. Wicked bad. There's the other Remington that came in that tin. It's the other knife that came with it. Frame lock. Not a bad little knife. CRKT piece of poo. This thing is like really small, as you can tell. It's a neck knife. Oh shit. Carbine. Wicked tiny knife. Also don't know what this is, but I carried it for a very long time. It's all frame. Uh, window smasher, belt cutter. Pretty solid build knife. But also a piece of cool, but it works. Carried it for a long time. And man, if you made it this far, holy shnikes. These are all my blades. This is a piece of poo. We'll never replace a Swiss Army knife, ever. This is crap. Don't go buy it. It's like three bucks. Holds like a piece of poo. There you go, Ian. Hope you enjoyed, man. If you made it this far, holy cow. Anybody did. Holy shit.
Much respect and much appreciation. Remember, knowledge is power. Practice makes progress. Peace out, everybody. Have a great one. Shit, I forgot the ones I have on me. It's the Resilience Spider Co. Kershaw Blur. Awesome blade. Daily carry. All the time. Sick ass knife. It's for my left hand because it's it's uh, assisted so it just flies out, man. Uh oh yeah. And this piece of junk piercer. I'm carrying that too. This thing's a piece of shit. That yeah, lockout's bad. It's worn down. This shit is shit. See what just happened? It's garbage. Piece of shit. That's it.